Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Learn ES6. I hope you've been enjoying this series so far. I know I enjoy working on it, uh, and hopefully you've been learning a whole bunch. Uh, I wanted to announce today that I'll be writing a book based on Let's Learn ES6. So the content we've gone over so far, content we haven't gone over yet, and depending on what happens throughout the year, uh, maybe some ES7 content. We'll see what happens. Uh, so the whole goal when I started this uh, video series was to make learning ES6 uh, as accessible as possible to new learners. Learners, um, and making them uh, making these videos nice little chunks of information that makes it uh, nice and easy to consume. Uh, as a teacher, that's really important to me because I see students kind of like learning this stuff so quickly, and um, it's hard to keep up to date with what's going what's going on. So having a nice video you can refer to over and over again is perfect. Uh, the book is going to be very similar. It's going to be uh, based off of the content we've talked about, some more stuff, uh, and it's going to be these nice little chunks of information. So it won't be a, ter a terribly large, long book, uh, but hopefully it'll be nice and concise. So the goal is to have this book broken up into two parts. Uh, the first part will be sort of an introduction and a history of what's going on, what happened, uh, what happened to ES. Uh, Four, stuff like that. And uh, it'll be what I'm considering everyday ES6. So stuff that you'll see more and more showing up in code examples on blog posts and uh, GitHub and stuff like that. Uh, so stuff like uh, Latin cons, template literals, destructuring, rest params, stuff along those lines. Second part of the book will be uh, more advanced features. So uh, I don't quite like the word advanced, but let's just say advanced here. So classes, modules, promises. Uh, we'll even talk about like generators and proxies and look at reflect and symbols and stuff like that. The whole goal for this is that we'll be out by the end of 2016, both parts. So it'll be broken up into two parts. Um, the first part will be, I'm going to say summer 2016 uh, is when I plan to have that done. I've already started writing, so uh, hopefully that goes well, but who knows. Um, still have to get it edited, technical reviewed, stuff like that. And the second part I hope to have out by late fall, early winter of 2016, so maybe November, December-ish. Um, yeah. As you can see here, uh, letslearnes6.com is a website I have started to set up, and I'll be expanding on this as we go. Um, there's a subscribe bar down below. If you want to subscribe to a newsletter that I'll be sending out periodically uh, to keep you up to date, maybe a sample chapter here and there, uh, please subscribe below. If you haven't um, followed me on Twitter, rchristiani.com is a great place uh, where you'll see some more information. And uh, subscribe in YouTube. Uh, as I post new videos, I'll also be updating uh, you as I go with my writing to make sure that we're on track and I'm accountable for finishing it. And then hopefully by the summer of 2016, uh, you'll be able to get your hands on the first version of uh, the book. So uh, subscribe below, follow me on Twitter, rchristiani, uh, subscribe on YouTube, and uh, hopefully in 2016, we'll be learning a lot more ES6. Bye-bye. <laughs>